You know something, it's not even summer travel season quite yet, but things are already picking up at Orlando International Airport. A live look now at the flight board shows we've got 162 on-time flights, 44 delays, and only six cancellations. At least that's good news. And with parking lots already filling up, some travelers are saying that getting to their flights is just as chaotic and busy. And as West Choose tonight's Gabrigatigas reports, airport officials say the crowds are just getting a glimpse of what is about to be this summer. School's not even out yet, but Orlando International Airport has been seeing tons of crowds. Parking lots have been reaching capacity since Friday. There's people out there waiting. All the signs say garages are full. People trying to get to the airport are having more trouble parking their car than catching a flight. I got here about a half an hour ago. It's taking most of them that long just to find a spot. One couple was worried their flight would leave without them. We went round and round. My husband is handicapped. There are absolutely no handicapped parking spots. Um, it, it's crazy. The upper levels are all closed. And uh, so I came in on the first level, which I don't normally park on. That was completely full. The rush comes just one week before the unofficial start of summer. Parking lots have stayed at capacity since Friday. It's also when TSA said agents screened more than 2.6 million passengers across the U.S., the most since the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Well, I luckily got on the second level, and um, I think I got the last parking spot down there. It was just so tight. Definitely glad to land here. So now once we get on the plane, and we'll be fine. But parking is a nightmare. Good luck to anyone that comes here. OIA expects to see this trend during the summer travel period. So if you plan to leave your car at the airport, they advise you to plan ahead and give yourself extra time. Reporting in Orlando, Sanai Gabrigadigas, Washington News.